When I say bananas, you say peppers. And today we're going to be digging into a video that I feel like you guys really seem to enjoy on this channel, and that is digging through random bags of my stuff. I have been on a quarantine mission to actually finally bring a little bit of organization into my life. I'm not sure how successful I'm going to be, but I'm trying to, no matter how panicked and terrified I feel, devote at least like two to three hours a day cleaning up this stuff. This stuff that surrounds me, that I always vow that I'm gonna clean up, and yet still, it looks like Dante's Inferno. So uh, today I am going to maybe look through these two bags, or depending on how much stuff is in each of them and how long it takes us to go through them, maybe I will do one this time and then one in another video. But these are my two Disney travel bags and I'm unpacking them. I don't think I'm gonna be going to Disney World this year. We were actually meant to be going in about two weeks. We normally take one spring trip in April and then one fall trip for the Halloween festivities in September. So needless to say, our April trip we have already canceled. The bags that we are gonna be looking at today are not bags that have been sealed for centuries like a lot of the other bags that we unbag on this channel. But I am kind of curious to see what is in these. Like, is it accessories and stuff that I just so happen to be looking for. These two bags, this one, I will go ahead and show you guys. It is by Eastpac and it is a Andy Warhol Campbell soup can tote bag. I think this collection came out last year and my god, these were so hard to get. I guess Eastpac is actually a UK brand and they had so many cool pieces, luggage pieces, fanny packs, and they were all all like part of this Andy Warhol collection. I definitely would have got more pieces if I could order them, but they didn't like ship to the US. Kind of sucks. Anyway, that was that little rant. Uh, so that is one Disney bag. And then this is another one that I have been using for centuries. Oh my God. This is a Unif duffel bag. I don't remember what this one was called, but I feel like this is one of my most used Unif pieces of all time. It is this really big oversized tote and it does have a barrel shape to it as well and then it's got all of these cool like rings on it that I actually usually have like keychains and stuff attached to but for right now it's naked. Anyway you guys normally I leave these Disney travel bags packed from trip to trip because there are like some accessories and some things that I really only use when I'm traveling to Disney. So I thought maybe like as part of my cleaning process, like normally these two semi-full duffel bags are living in the corner of my closet, but I thought maybe I could like actually use the contents this year versus like just leaving them stuffed full of items for another like year and a half. So uh, let's just go ahead and dig through this bad boy right now because this is the newer one and oh my god yes. So the last time I used this bag was in September so I think that we might find some Halloween Disney goodies in here. Um, right on top I see this uh, gift bag that I saved and it actually it comes from a really awesome um, jewelry maker. Her account I think on Instagram is called Magic Magic In Metal or Magic Metal. We might find some of her stuff in this bag, so let's keep digging. Up next, I see this scrunchie that I think, yeah, I got this at Disney Springs, which is like downtown Disney in Florida. Or do, do they still call it downtown Disney in some places? I don't know. It's like a really cool like Disney outdoor mall, but they have a lot of, you know, non- Disney shops there like Coach and Sephora and there was kind of this place that I don't know they just sold like odds and ends but I thought that this was really cool. I think it's made out of recycled fabric and of course I love it because it's gator green. Uh, up next is this cute journal that I got years ago from Yes Style, you know the K-Beauty website. 
they sell like other stuff besides just beauty stuff but I love this notebook so much I feel like I carry it around with me all the time with the intention to start using it and start writing in it but it's so adorable that I'm afraid of using it I'm like afraid of wasting it you guys know how much I love frogs and it has these cute little frogs all over they're called uh pizzicato diaries I think I actually got this in 2017 oh my god look there's a candy wrapper in it yum yum but it has like calendar pages where you can create your own calendars writing in your own months your own dates and then it has just mostly these blank well they're like lined pages but they have a bunch of cute animals on it but obviously my favorite pages are the frog pages so i don't know someday i will be brave enough to use this but clearly not yet. Up next I have a, what are these called? Disposable camera, brand new. I had this like fantasy of starting one of those like disposable camera accounts on Instagram. I haven't yet filled up one of these disposable cameras to get it, um, I keep wanting to say to get it expired exposed developed that's the word i'm looking for to get it developed is this for people that live in la where you're just constantly like going to cool stuff and events and i don't know i don't know uh up next i have uh two halloween candy i don't know why these are stuck in here i don't think i got them at disney and i don't know why i would have taken them to disney um but this little guy is called a monster pooper I poop candy. I don't know how proud of that you should be, my dude. Um, oh, and he glows in the dark. And then this one is so cute. It's a little bat. Look at his little face, oh my god. And it actually has candy corn flavored Pez inside of here. I'm very curious. Ooh, this doesn't expire until 2024. So still 2024. Why does Pez last that long? Up next is part of a costume that I was so excited to wear to Disney. Um, but then I had some Swamp Family cast members when I was on my trip, like, tell me, like, you probably don't want to try and wear that into the book. Anyway, I will insert a photo of the costume that I brought because it was a costume that was pretty much an exact replica of what the cast members wear to the boo to you Halloween parties. But I guess Disney like obviously has really strict rules. Like you can't really like, I guess impersonate a cast member. I don't know. So I didn't end up wearing it, but they have like a little matching headband. I think I filmed a video in this costume at some point last year. So maybe you guys know what I'm talking about already. Uh, up next, I have a sealed and shockingly clean looking amount of makeup brushes, including these that I swear I was going to do a video with. I feel like I definitely need to re-clean these at this point. Even though they look clean, they are probably not clean to my standard of clean. But I felt like I was going to like do a video testing out these unicorn I've seen some people refer to these as makeup brushes and some people refer to these as like nail art brushes. I guess for that kind of like powder that you rub in and it turns your nails like chrome or glitter or something. I don't know. Up next I have something. Oh I just I desire to live that kind of like Disney Instagram fantasy. You know those people that just get all dressed up and they have like all the special like Disney cups and Disney outfits and I'm like literally I bring all this stuff with me I feel like every time I go to Disney and I just never I can never hit that mark. Do you know what I mean? Like I get there and I'm just really really hot uh just constantly sweating in florida and i feel like once i'm there i'm just like busy being on vacation and like enjoying my life and uh i don't know like maybe not trying to be picture perfect it's like what i want to do and what i end up doing like are always always at war anyway I got this to do like a whole Instagram photo. It is a reusable Starbucks cup, but they made it Haunted Mansion themed instead. And it's so cool. I don't remember the Etsy shop I got this from, but I will uh, link it to you guys if I can remember it and find it. So this is like super, super cute, but I have to be honest, I don't know how well this would work 
wash. Like it almost feels like the ease would come up. I don't know. It is very cute though. I love it. I love it. I love it. I do feel like this is more for photographs than practical usage. Is that silly? I don't know. Maybe I should just like put makeup brushes in it and not really use it. Thoughts? Opinions on that? Up next I have a boring generic gray magic band. I feel like more often than not we get there and they have to like reissue us different magic bands for some reason like we always get like weird magic bands. Anyway this is like basically like how you do everything at Disney World now. They've had this system in place for a couple years and every year they get like a little bit thinner, a little bit cooler, but this is how you get into your hotel room. You can make purchases like in any park using this thing. It's also like where your fast passes are stored so it's kind of like the whole shebang these days at Disney World. And I do love them, but sometimes they are a mess because I feel like sometimes, I don't know, do they get like demagnetized or unprogrammed? How do these things happen? Up next, we have some wristbands in here. And I'm sure I'll probably find more, but right now here are three of them. So these two were from Mickey's Not So Scary. So when you have these special ticketed events, you not only have to have your magic band, but you also have to get one of these things because they're different colors for different party nights. So they can tell like who is supposed to be in the park after hours. And then this one is like still together. I don't even know how this happened, but uh, this was another party night called the after hours party. These are pretty cool as well. They give you like all the popcorn, sodas and waters and think that, oh, and ice cream that you wanna eat. You can just like walk around and go to the little kiosks for that party night and like fill up on all the junk food you want after hours and all the rides are basically like fast passes. Up next, I have a Sephora avocado hand mask in here. And I should honestly probably do this tonight because with all of my hand washing, my hands I think are maybe in worse condition, worse condition than they ever have been before. Up next, I have these super long Unif tie-dye socks. Oh my gosh. These are so soft and these are so old too. Do I just cling to old things? I just feel like I resonated stylistically more with Unif back in the old days than I do now. Some of their pieces are cute, but I feel like they've gotten less like kind of, I don't know, like punk grunge. They really are more like kind of 90s style, which I do love it, don't get me wrong, but I miss, I miss stuff like this. Do you know what I mean? Up next, I have some Instax film and I have Stripe. And what does this say? Shiny star. Ooh. And then I have these, which, oh, you guys, I always have the best of intention to use these things. Does anybody know what these are? Does anybody recognize these anymore? I feel like, unfortunately, this was kind of like an invention that never took off. They are, aren't these called specs? Snapchat specs? They're like the special Snapchat glasses. So you charge them up and you push this little button on top when you want to record. And I don't know why I just never like remember to actually put these on and use them. I tried them like a couple times in the past and I feel like you definitely can get like some super cool like you know, first person view of stuff around you. But I don't know. I just, I never remember them when the time comes, but I always bring them. Uh, up next, I have more Stripe in Stax film. And then I just have like some Disney stuff in here. This is like the welcome to your hotel room thing from the Pop Century. And then we have the Epcot Food and Wine Festival. It's like a little passport thing. So there's actually like stickers that you can put in here once you visit each kiosk, like little stamps. And then they tell you what all of the special like food offerings are, which country they're in, and all of that stuff. There is so much tasty random food to eat at these kiosks during the food and wine festival. I feel like you can just like stuff yourself. And then this 
is, oh, I think that this is telling me that I had a package. Yeah, I had a package because like I told you guys, the, um, the magic and metal jewelry designer, she was so sweet. She like drove to my hotel and dropped off this little jewelry gift for me, which let's see. Hopefully it's gonna be in one of these boxes. I think this is, oh, this was my jewelry box. I have a haunted mansion necklace. And, uh, but I think that this, let's see, this is the jewelry box. Oh, there's all my Haunted Mansion jewelry all in one. So here are the pieces from Magic and Metal. And I hope I'm saying her name right. If you love um, like Haunted Mansion Disney jewelry, she makes so many cool pieces. And also um, she does some Harry Potter stuff as well. So this is a Madame Leota crystal ball ring. And I don't know how well the lighting is gonna show this piece to you guys. So I will insert an Instagram photo because it looks so amazing in real life. And it is actually like a bubble, it's like a dome. So it looks like a crystal ball. Then I have this adorable Tomb Sweet Tomb Haunted Mansion ring. It's meant to look exactly like the little Tomb Sweet Tomb embroidery that's in the Haunted Mansion. And then, last but not least from her, I have this awesome bat. And it's so, so cute. And then the other piece of jewelry I have in here, because I layer and wear all these pieces when I'm at Disney. So this was actually sold, I don't remember the jewelry designer's name. Oh, Rebecca Hook, it's right there on this box. Um, but I think last year was like some year of the Haunted Mansion being around. So they had like a lot of like special Haunted Mansion items that I don't think that they otherwise have. So this looks just like the Haunted Mansion plaque in the front of the ride. And it's so, so cool. And then, oh my God, I've been looking for this forever. It's my iPod, my freaking iPod. This was like the one that they came out with last year, which do they even make these anymore, you guys? Uh, I was so excited when they revived iPod, but I do kind of feel like it is maybe just a bit of dead technology that you can't, I mean, I can see where it does kind of not make any sense when you have an iPhone, but I have it sheerly for the nostalgia. And then my protective case for said iPod was a tape measure. I feel like I brought this with me because at the time I was shopping for a lot of Halloween stuff for Vlogoween on Etsy. And a lot of times I need to like measure, like if it's like costumey stuff or like vintage stuff, I need to be able to measure my measurements so I know the sizes to get and stuff. Uh, okay, uh, next couple of things. I have some patches in here. I don't even know why these are in here because I swear I got these from Hot Topic a long time ago. So this says Black Sheep Club. I thought that that was humorous. Um, See you in hell. Do you ever like sometimes have sensibilities like two years ago that you maybe don't have anymore? Then I have this one, which this clearly never goes out of style. It is the Alien Chenille patch. And then this one, um, I want to believe and it's tie dye with a UFO on it. Gotta love it. Okay, up next, I see a couple of wristbands in here, different colored knights. And then I have a good old Jelly Roll bright blue pen in here. Probably brought that for my non-existent journaling that I didn't do. Uh, up next, I have a pack of phone lanyards. I always put my phone on one of these kind of like necklace lanyard systems when I'm at Disney so that I can just wear it around my neck if I want to take a quick picture. And then I feel like I am much less apt to drop it on the Disney World concrete somewhere. Oh, yay. Okay, so this is her business card, the Haunted Mansion jewelry designer I've been telling you guys about. And it is magic in metal, right? Yeah, magic in metal. I don't know why I was just saying magic metal. Then I have this, which is a random blue silicone AirPod case. I don't know why that is in here with no AirPods inside of them. I also have a singular mummy squishy in here. It's one of those like magnetic 
magnetic ice cream cone ones. And it looks like I just have two more, no, three more items in here. Okay. Oh, this is an adapter for some camera that I have. And then I have just a loose Disney plastic bag with nothing in it, not even so much as a receipt. And then I think I brought this for Avatar Baby, perhaps. It's like a vintage, I think that this went with a Barbie doll. I have teeny tiny little avatar babies that I don't think I ever showed you guys and I think I definitely brought them on this trip because I was going to do a video with them so I think that this little backpack fits one of those guys but I think it originally came with a Barbie. I think I originally got it at the thrift store as part of like one of those big bags with just like a ton of random stuff in it and that is it for this bag you guys nothing else in it and since this video is like 20 minutes long i think i will save this bag for another video um because my gosh a 40 minute long video some people love that some people hate that anyway until i see you guys again which is going to be very very soon stay happy stay healthy stay sassy stay banana peppery i love you guys so so much i hope y'all are staying inside and staying as happy and healthy as you possibly can i love you guys so so much and i will see y'all again very very soon bye